वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ जनरल नॉलेज जोग्राफी सेक्शन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट प्रेसिपिटेशन यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ द वाटर साइकिल वाटर साइकिल इज अ कॉमन एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट फिनमिना विच इज गोइंग ऑन वॉट हैपन्स इन द वाटर साइकिल वॉट एवर अमाउंट ऑफ मॉइस्चर और द वाटर प्रेजेंट ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस is getting evaporated or if it is through the plants transpiration or transpirated due to the sun's rays or sun's heat when all the water vapor or when the water gets evaporated it can changes into the form of the water vapor these water vapors after condensation they cool down and they come down in the form of precipitation so precipitation is not of single form this is what is the precipitation which we experience either in the form of rainfall or other things to define precipitation it is the product of the condensation of atmospheric water vapor that falls under the gravity from clouds they are of various forms it can be coming in the form of drizzle rain which we all usually experience sleet like the small ice cubes or very small tiny ice balls snowfall which we experience in the winters in the himalayan region ice pellets and the hail now these are the hail storms let us see one by one each one of them forms of precipitation we will be studying four main forms of precipitation in this rainfall falling drops of liquid water most common type of precipitation snowfall falls when the temperature in the cloud is below freezing sleet rain that freezes as it falls down while coming down the water droplets they freeze and then they come down and hail storms they form when the drops of rain freezes and strong wind carry them higher into the cloud these are very strong and destructive too rainfall a very common feature where the precipitation is in the liquid form snowfall it's like the snowflakes very soft and these are common when the temperatures are very less hail storms when the precipitation will be in the form of big due to the winter you know, very uh, big ice cubes they are the or ice balls these are the hail storms and this is how the sleet looks sleet very tiny cubes even this is also a kind of sleet this is how we get different different types of precipitation forms now let us learn something more about weather measuring instruments in the weather there are various elements such as temperature rainfall humidity wind speed wind directions air pressure these are all the various elements of the weather now these weather reports you usually hear in the newspapers or you can also hear them in the news reports daily news now where are these things recorded these all things are recorded in the meteorological department in nagpur the meteorological department is located near the airport they record all these and then they release the data let us see one by one this is the thermometer it is a device to measure the temperature either in the fahrenheit or in the celsius the regular thermometer which we have at our home for as a first aid that is for body temperature but this is the outside one hygrometer now when i say hygrometer it means in the air or in the atmosphere how much amount of moisture is present humidity this is the meter which measures that humidity rain gauge how much amount of rainfall is received we calculate them in the centimeters like this the jars or the measuring meters are kept in the open surface and there whatever amount of rainfall will be getting collected will tell us that how much amount of rainfall has been received by that particular region in a particular time period 
बैरोमीटर दिस इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेजरिंग एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर दैट इज विंड प्रेशर एंड विंड प्रेशर इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट टू डिस्कस और टू डिसाइड अबाउट द रेन फॉल और द क्लाउडी वेदर और द क्लियर स्काई कंपास यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस दिस इज रिगार्डिंग नोइंग द डायरेक्शंस वी हैव विंड वेन नो विंड वेन्स आर जनरली यूज टू डिटेक्ट द विंड डायरेक्शन एंड लास्ट वी हैव द एनिमोमीटर इट इज अ डिवाइस विच इज मेजरिंग द विंड स्पीड हाउ फास्ट द विंड और हाउ फास्ट दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज मूविंग अकॉर्डिंगली द विंड स्पीड इज डिसाइडेड all these are the various weather instruments which measure the weather elements thank you